Welcome to American Truth Project. I'm Barry Nussbaum. It's the Katie and Barry show. Joining us from across the pond from beautiful London, England is the magnificent Katie Hopkins. Good <laughs> afternoon, Katie. Good afternoon, Barry, and to all our lovely viewers from me, Katie Hopkins, here in a very, very locked down UK where it is illegal to leave my home as we speak. Get out of there before they actually make you stay there forever, <laughs> young lady. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about what's going on on this side. Um, a failed presidential candidate uh, named John Kerry, who has had a number of uh, very significant offices uh, in the United States, not the least of which was Secretary of State, has the horrible experience of being the architect of the disastrous Iran nuclear deal, commonly called the JCPOA. And he's now been appointed by our new president, Biden, as US Special Envoy for Climate. And I'm going to start you off with one of the most magnificent examples of do as I say, not as I do. Why? Well, John Kerry is married to one of the wealthiest families in America, into that family. And they fly on private Gulfstream jets wherever they want to go, <laughs> including green conferences where they make resolutions that people should not be flying or driving or transporting fuel or trade on fossil fuels. And yet, Mr. Kerry flies in a Gulfstream private jet owned by Flying Squirrel LLC, which is a family company. And according to numerous commentaries, it emits 40 times, 40, 40 times the carbon footprint as if he was on a commercial flight. How do you deal with someone who, well, doesn't care about the environment except when he's at a conference and gets there with a big black trail of smoke behind his private jet? Right, and isn't it always the way, Barry, the hypocrisy of those who lecture us? You know, I, I feel like it's a Meghan, uh, Meghan Markle, you know, the woman that married Prince Harry, our Prince Harry. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle became these kind of green zealots, the green ambassadors. It's very sort of the very right on thing to be, isn't it? But of course, in their private life, whenever they fly, it's on private jets. And in fact, when they went to South Africa on their tour, they actually flew uh, their British Range Rovers, a fleet of them, eight of them, to South Africa because it was the only vehicles Meghan Markle was prepared to travel around in. So it's always the way, isn't it, whether it's John Kerry or other elitist globalists that, that want the little people to have their gas prices go up that seem to have a lovely time jetting around and do whatever they want. I also think, Barry, you know, at these times when there's a lot of hardship out there, you have Uber drivers who can't get a decent, you know, ride in order to get paid. You have people wondering how they're going to pay their rent. Climate is a very ethereal problem at the moment. There's bigger problems faced by ordinary Americans, I think. Oh, no question. Like, for example, <laughs> you're gonna love this story. Um, we don't have enough vaccines to go around. Not that I'm pushing the vaccine. Don't take that that way. Um, I'm just going to make a commentary politically. We don't have enough vaccines for the first dose for the country. And yet the Biden administration, get this, has just announced that the United States government is going to offer corona, coronavirus vaccines to the detainees at Guantanamo Bay prison ahead of Americans who are lining up and can't get the vaccine. What the heck are they thinking? Do you ever think, Barry, that maybe these, these people or the people behind these people sit in a room and they think, now let's think, what can we do that would really, really, really annoy a taxpayer? You know, what can we do that's the most annoying thing? I feel like that happens because here in the UK, as many of you guys already know, we had something called returning jihadis where jihadis left the UK to go and fight in Syria, then they returned and we treated them like they were kings. You know, they were at the front of the line for schools, for homes, for housing. 
even as our veterans are homeless on the street. And I should add, as a side note, of course, Barry, if you're a returning jihadi, actually you're just a bit rubbish at your job because if you're supposed to be jihadi, you're supposed to go and blow yourself up. So you're not really supposed to return. But my point is, it's like returning jihadis having free homes, these guys being given vaccinations, right? It's like, what can we do to annoy ordinary people? I, I think they're professionals at it. Well, it worked. I'm annoyed. Are you annoyed? I'm annoyed. I'm okay. annoyed. It was successful. So there's a guy that's quite famous in the US who's probably very annoyed. He makes pillows, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. He has now been banned for distribution in almost every major US retail chain because his crime, oh my gosh, his crime, Katie, was standing up and saying, get this, I support President Trump. And for that vicious felony, they're not carrying his products anymore. Is this corporate fascism gone crazy? I mean, can you even believe it? I, I did read actually, and I was just looking for the figures there, Bed Bath and Beyond uh, shares, I think took a real hit off the back of this uh, with people moving away from that market because they found this to be a abhorrent decision. But I think it's just this punitive action. And I think one of the things that probably you know, we're, we're going to try and get uh, you together with Mike, I know, is that he's just a lovely guy. Any conservative that's been to any conference, I don't doubt, will have found a Mike Lindell pillow on their seats. I've, I've been to a number and he gives them out for free to conservatives just to support the work that people do and support people and give them something free to take home. He's an absolute sweetie. Um, and the fact that they're doing this to him, I hope uh, that the great American public rally around by, you know, for every time they do something unkind, I hope everybody goes and buys a pillow or a mattress topper. I was thinking the other day that I must do that as well. I, I think he's an absolutely charming gentleman and um, I hope he's not feeling too injured by all of this. I hope it's making him more determined. Well, Probably from what I've heard about him from people like you that know him, but it's just so wrong. And, and speaking of wrong, we've talked about this uh, earlier today. Every Republican that supported Trump before the inauguration, while the uh, certification of the Electoral College was going on, and they stood up and said, you know, we'd like to see an audit. We want some more research, which, by the way, happens in every single election. When Republicans get elected, the Democrats do it. When the Democrats get elected, the Republicans do it. It's quite common and it's a protected right in the constitution. Well, not according to Google because the Congress people, men and women that stood up and said, hey, let's count, let's have an audit, have been demonetized on their pages and they're not able to fundraise for their campaigns anymore because Google banned them for the audacity of having the temerity to stand up and defend the president of the United States against an election that quite probably was fraudulent. Mm -hmm. and, and I think this is where, Barry, your point, you know, when we first started talking, your point was always that we need to build networks, we need to create independence from, you know, big tech censorship, and we need to sort of reclaim power. And I think that's where, you know, the network that you've set up, uh, ATP, American Truth Project, you know, that's where we need people. If they're as angry as you and I are, that's why we're asking people to participate, join, sign up, is because that we can look after each other, you know, so we can become a network that helps inform each other and stay together. Well, speaking of which, and thanks for the reminder, for those of you out there in ATP land within the US that haven't yet subscribed, please take out your cell phones and text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, to this number, 88202, push send. We will sign you up for free to get this and all of our content every day for free on your cell phone. All you have to do is push send and we'll send it to you for free. Thanks, Katie, for joining us today. And thank you out there for watching. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.